Hello everyone, this is XCOM, we're playing Sons of Pixel. Oh, hi, I'm here too. <laughs> <laughs> so, finally this game is out. Um, I tried for like, what, 45 minutes just to try it. It's satisfying enough, and me and Nick decided to go for it, and Nick is interested because of the graphics, because he's a bloody oh, no. graphic whore. I was interested in it before, but the graphics really help round it out so it feels like a more cohesive package. And I want to introduce this as a special series because this is going to be the YouTuber Save the World series. Uh, I've gotten explicit permission from our friends over at Saving Progress to uh, use them as characters in their squad, so we're going to have, uh, you know, Ryan, uh, our Northern Lion, and, uh, and Jay Smith and Michael Fox all... You know, as people who want to keep alive, and I want to also use some of our other YouTube buddies in the group. So it's going to be an interesting journey, and we're going to play on Iron Man, so that means we can't save and load saves, uh, and we're stuck with whatever happens. So there's a one-shot deal. If somebody dies, they're dead. Yep. So let's start. Now, but on the graphics, I actually agree with, with what Nick just said. Um, this game is great for introducing the series to newcomers who, like, see the old graphics and they're like, Ah, oh, shit! This is worse than diarrhea! <laughs> it's not I that will never bad. play it's this! Just, this is so much more accessible. Yes, it is. In pretty much every level. I mean, even the, the controls make more sense, too. Yeah. The game is, uh, is simplified. Most of the stats are gone. Time units is gone. Um, well, I believe. before we get into all of that, we should probably set this up, because I'm sure somebody out there hasn't even heard of XCOM before, or has no idea what it's even about, so why don't you explain what the point of this game even is? Okay, so, uh, well, this beautiful cinematic goes, uh, XCOM is a uh, strategy turn-based game where aliens invade your home and try to manipulate governments into helping them, and now there's poison, which i never seen before. I've actually skipped this, set this uh, cinematic for the first time. Is, is that us? Or are we gonna, like, awaken with superpowers that only us no. have for the sake of no, the game? No, I don't think so. No? Okay. So pretty much the point of, of the game is that you are a commander of a secret or organization uh, leaded by a council uh, who are made of you know, the leaders of 16 countries and uh, you have to defeat aliens pretty much with, uh, you know, take them captive, stole, uh, steal, I mean, their technology and find out where they are, how to kill them, and there we go. So it's and it's a, it's a roguelike, too. I yes. mean, all the levels are randomly generated. Every time you play it, it's going to be different. Uh, but it does follow a similar story arc, as far as I'm aware, each time, right? Yeah, I, I mean, the progression... The, the progression of aliens is always the same, right? You always start with the same ones and work your way up, or is it... I don't know if you no, even know that's, that yet. that's different, for sure. All right. In both so I guess there's certain no. branching paths to this based yes. on how you progress. Yes. Uh, the sectoids are always first, of course, because they are they are the weakest. But sometimes you find like the trap guys or the snake oh. guys first, and um, it also depends on on which race is going to invade which country. Right. And we do get to pick which uh, continent we start our base out on. Uh, yes. Do you know, though, that that's different from the original game? Because I know it was that way in the original, but I don't know if it's still random in this one. Uh, I believe it is. My cousin played okay. it, he told me he met uh, the Slender guys, like, way later in the game. Me, oh, okay. I found them Sagan, so... Yeah, I, I always thought they were second, there. so, okay. Now, uh, in the first game, you can uh, pretty much choose any, any location for your base, and it doesn't really matter where you put it other than, than yeah. uh, radar coverage. In this game, it doesn't work like this. In this game, you have to choose your home country, and that's going to give you a different buff. Yeah, uh, I mean, I've looked through all these before. I think South America seems like the nicest buff, but at the same time, do we really want to live in South America? I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I mean, just uh, at being both people from, you know, the you know North American continent. Yeah. Africa sounds really good, too, for the... Uh, oh, yeah. This one's thirty percent fun. That seems like maybe we want to do that. Yeah. Well, no. For the for the sake of this, um, that's not really a let's play. For 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 the sake of this playthrough, we're gonna go with uh, Europe. 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 My God. Europe. How do you say it? How do you say it? Please say it. Europe. Europe. Okay. So for the sake of this playthrough, uh, we're gonna go with uh, labor laboratories and workshops because we love science. science okay. Great. And it's also to speed up faster through the researches. 
Yeah, and so the thing is, I, I don't know if the viewers know this, but you're a very big XCOM fanatic. I mean, you were really involved in the originals, and you know them inside and out. Yes. And you even did your own Let's Play series on your channel at one point. So hopefully all of that information is going to lead to us having a much more successful run in this. Yes. Now, I believe the first mission is always the same. Well, I don't know, but I'm going to see this. Because it's like the Teutonia level. Yeah, I, I believe right. it is. Now, always the same to the point where even the geography is the same, or just always the same objective? It's always the same objective. The map seems to be a, li a little bit different, but it's... Okay. Let, let me check best. Uh, I don't know. There's a yeah, it looks kind of different to me from what I've seen. Yeah. So, uh, if you never played this, uh, go with the, the tutorial. It is really well done. Uh, the way the, this game works is it's, it's really di 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 different uh, strategy-wise. First of all, there is no time units. In the first game, you have a set amount of points to move, shoot, open doors, uh, climb up stairs, whatever. And once you're done, you're done. In this, you have two moves. You can move twice, move and shoot, or simply shoot. And I thought there were time points or, or action points in this. Oh, no, I guess it, I'm it's, it's turns. Pre pre pretty much for each turn, your, your character can do two actions. Okay. Or one if he's like ru running for uh, like further like this. There we go. See, that counts for two. Yeah. Or you can. I like how it. One. I like how it shows the cover is either half or full cover based on those little shields. Yes. So you can use that to determine what might be a safer place to lay up or or not. Yeah, I know the game is actually pretty well done. You you could take cover in the first game, but sometimes you know it's just like a street of headshots that, that never right. ends. Yeah, they do a nice job in this of giving you the tools to know where is a good place to strategically set up. Yeah, I you think know, in the first one there was a lot left to chance, and in this it's a little bit safer. Yeah, here I did a, a mistake. This guy is not co covered, so he's really easy right. to get, and now he's dead. Shit, we haven't even started yet. You already got Chang killed. I know, and this one Panic. Panic is still there. I wanted to see that. Nice. Oh, wow. Does Panic uh, reduce somewhat when you get promotions, or is that still the same? Uh, it was a stat in the first game. I do not know if it is in this oh. one. We can check. Because I would think the more like experienced they are, the less they would have a chance of panicking. I'm going to frag these two guys. Uh, wait. Whoa, calm down. Okay. The mouse hey, is a bit sen sensitive, but... Very overzealous with the mouse there. Yeah. So I'm going to move in. And I still have an action. Uh, can you go through real, just real quickly and, and sort of point out what all the buttons do on the UI? Oh, um, on the left, these are uh, to enter uh, the soldier information and um, the soldier's okay, shifting. All of this can be done with the mouse. Right. Well, to and the tab, bottom I think right, that. you can see that uh, every character has two weapons, primary and secondary, of course. You can right. switch them whenever you want. Uh, these little alien heads means that they are all styles in your sight, and there's a percentage over, over that, that's the uh, percent of chance to hit them. Sometimes the heads are red though, what's the difference? Red means that, um, I believe it's that he's further. Like, okay, if so it's, it's like that, distance. If, it, if it's yellow and green, it means that it's easier to hit. Got it. It's a so it's just like an at a glance way to select a target if you have a, a choice between yes. them, perhaps. And the four buttons on the bottom, uh, there, sometimes there, there, there's more. These are the actions your character can do. Um, right. Like fire, o over, over, overwatch is to stay on guard and shoot whoever comes into your, your perimeter. Grenade, that's your accessory. This changes depending on what you have in your loadout. So it could be like a med kit instead. Yeah, or a rocket launcher, wh whatever. Right. And um, hunker down is simply to hunker down, you hunker. So you just take less damage if somebody happens to attack you while you're hunkered yes, down. Yes, and you increase your cover by two. So if you have like at half cover like this, uh -huh. you, you would go like at seventy-five percent. Yeah, so oh, I'm gonna go oh, with okay. a great grenade because there's two of them, and my character is hurt because he got whoa. Oh, well, you need to turn the mouse sensitivity down, and yes. you're just going nuts with that thing. Okay, there you go. So it should be mentioned that when these characters survive missions, oh, nice hit. I know. Uh, they, they can actually get experience, essentially, which will lead them to getting promotions, which they can then specialize into different fields. Yes. So you may have... I mean, everybody pretty much starts out as sort of a generic soldier grunt, right? But then they can specialize into being more of like a sniper or an assault class. 
Yes. Uh, However, depending on your needs. There are classes in this game. There, there, there was none in the first one. In, in the first one, you had to check the stats of uh, of your soldier and right. access uh, what they had. And you would sort of equip them based on their stats that they just happened yes. to have. Oh, right? this card's Oh my loaded. god. My so that's two dead. dudes down already. Yeah, I know. Jeez. All right, I don't. <laughs> this game just like kicks you in the butt all day long. So right here, I'm gonna go and hunker down because he's, he's alone. Taking a shot at this range is useless. So yeah, hunker down. Yes. I'm a little worried now. I mean, we're gonna introduce some people we actually care about into our squad, and we're just gonna get them killed right away. Well, yeah, but the, 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 these guys they deserve to die. I mean, we didn't even uh, equip them the way we want. I mean, right. You know. Well, we don't have that many options though. We do have some of them. I mean, body armors and stuff that we have all already. Well, we gotta research that stuff, don't we? We don't have that all, you know, from the beginning. Uh, there are some stuff that you come with. Oh, okay. Well, I'm no expert, so I mean, really, I'm deferring to you in this case. This is more like a reverse of the situation we had with Dark Souls, where I knew everything. Yes. This is Anza knows everything, and I'm sort of following along. And he's actually doing the playing, so I'm really here just for color commentary, I guess. Um... And just to, I don't know, help make decisions if we get into si uh, strange situations. So this guy doesn't have a shot yet. Uh, it's a bad idea to set them both at the same place, because if this car explodes, and I do not yeah. have time to go away, then both of them are down. However, I'm kind of stuck here. This, is, this doesn't count as a cover. In, in, in the right. first game, light uh, bulbs or, you know, lamps or, or whatever. Um, yeah. They provide cover, none of this one, so... I'm gonna go with... What can I do? Yeah, I'm gonna go around and be sneaky. Maybe. Cut your break. I also want to mention to viewers that this game... Uh, I mean, you saw how we selected Iron Man in the beginning, which doesn't let us revert to older saves, right? So, what that means is as we progress in this game, we could actually get to a point where the game just is screwed based on some poor decision we made. Whoa! or some mitigating factor that we had no control over, so we may end up just being dead without our volition, uh, in which case that will be... I don't know if it'll be the end of the Let's Play, or if it'll just be the end of that session of it, but that is definitely a possibility, and actually the odds are kind of stacked against us, and as you can see from this first mission, which is kicking our ass, yes, uh, things are pretty tough. But that's like this in the first game too. I mean, in the first game, you have 14 soldiers at your at your disposal, and and fighting one guy often results in you losing soldiers. That car is gonna explode. You gotta move that guy. Oh yeah, shit! I'm gonna go there again. I'm gonna try to take a shot again. 45% is enough for maybe praying for miracles. Please hit it. Nope. Now you do. You have to increase your squad size uh, from the beginning because I think you can start with only four, but yeah. you have to do some sort of research training to get a bigger squad size. Maximum is six. Oh, okay. So you can never do the size you could in the original one. No. In the first so game, I you the had bigger... a drop full of soldiers at one point. Yeah, I mean, in the first game, get, um... nice. He missed. In 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 the first game, you start with fourteen soldiers, and getting the better craft uh, gives you like. 20-something. Right. It's huge. It's a, it's a gigantic amount. So what know. happens if you if you kill all your dudes in this first mission? Are you just done? Is that the end of the game? No, that's gonna uh, go to mission fail, and then you go to your oh. base. And from there... <laughs> that seems like a really bad way to start this, though. I think if we fail, we should just do this over. <laughs> I, I, see, I see the first... There we go. Thank you. Yeah, I don't want to start the whole uh, thing out with a, a miserable failure on the first shot. Although we're pretty close as it is. I mean, one guy out of four is, is not a good way to go. Yeah, I'm going to go with 45. What I could do is that... Yeah, I'm going to go closer again. So the scientists just let us know that the weapons self-destruct when we kill these guys. So yes. we're just going to get fragments. We can't actually take their full weapons to Contrary research. to the first game, um, you get the full weapons. In here, you can get a weapon fragments, and from there, you can research whatever yeah. you want. I kind of feel like that makes more sense, honestly. Yeah, it, it does. It seems too easy to just take their weapons from them and use them against them. Uh oh Oh, okay. It's... What? No, he was shooting at <laughs> the car. I mean, uh, bullets What's... in this game and the first one are never lost. I mean, if he, if he misses you, it just keeps going. And if there are units behind you, it may hit them. Uh-huh. So that's why you should not uh, put all of, of your people behind the same cover because Clearly. it just, you know, gives them more chances to hurt uh, the people beside you, even though he's aiming for that guy. 
it's dangerous. I have to reload. Do any of the aliens get like grenades or explosives? Yes, they do, and that's oh, dangerous. Shit. Yeah, the, there's a lot of subtle nuance to this game, and I think the best thing that it has going for it is the sense of scope oh, and scale. Oh my god, you got our whole freaking platoon killed! Yeah. That was miserable. Restart that shit up. Oh, I think we, we don't have a choice. Yeah, I, I guess for the tutorial, they're like, you didn't do it well enough, so let's start over. Well, you know, if this do doesn't work, it's like, well, this solo organization is pointless. Yeah, you're not going to be able to do anything worse than this. Might as well nuke the entire world like we did in all the, the other oh, movies. Oh, man. But it is the same map, though. Okay, then. Maybe that's only because I, I restarted. Yeah, yeah, it might be already loaded, so they just put the same guys back on it. Uh, so what I was saying before is the sense of scope in this game is crazy. Like, you think that this might be a strategy game about individual engagements with aliens, and then you find out you have this huge base, and then this whole thing is going on across the whole world, and you're, you're engaging with all these aliens in different continents. Uh, it's just a very big game, and things just keep getting better, and, and I won't spoil it, but there's, like, more stuff even than that as you start getting towards the end game. As far as I know, and I don't know what they changed from the original, but I'm just going off the original. So, as you can see, this alien just went in Overwatch, so if I get closer, I'll get shot. Right. So is there a way to see his vision cone, or do you just have to sort of guess? Uh, you have to guess. Oh. Uh, uh, well, there is no vi vision cone. It's, it, it's a circle now. So it's well, not I just like... meant, like, where you can walk and where you can't, essentially. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I mean, I could go close to him if I feel like it, but that's a bad idea. Well, I'm saying if you went slightly to the right of him, how do you know if he can see you based on what cover is in front of him is, is all I was trying to get at. Oh, well, okay, yeah, that you have to guess. It's, right. uh, it's sad like that. Well, I can't have everything. I think they made some really nice improvements from the original, so I'm happy with that. One problem with this game is that if you have no target, you cannot shoot at it. Which is sad, because I would love to blow this car by shooting it over and over again. Oh, over. yeah. Which is that is kind of messed up. You can't even throw a grenade or anything? Nope. Shit. That's you sad. sure it's not like an ability you unlock maybe later? Because there's a lot of stuff to get to. I don't no. think so, no. Yeah, it would be sort of a weird ability. I guess I'm with you on that. I'm gonna let these two, like, make friends and make up, and then I'm gonna go here. Yeah, you should probably not keep two guys next to the same car anymore. Oh. You can actually see it. You got Overwatch. Missed him, though. I don't know if I like the animations on the sectoids. They look sort of weird to me. Well, they I think out of all the aliens I've seen, they're probably my least favorite looking. I, I mean, they're sort of like little, little monkey kind of guys running around <laughs> with psychic powers. Kind of guys. <laughs> they are. Uh, Alright, so now there's two. I actually have to re grenade this again, maybe. And what exactly causes that green crap to come out? Because it doesn't seem like the sectoids do that to them. Green crap. That that's shellacked all the civilians around all over the map. Did you see him? There's like some guys stuck to the ground down in the bottom oh. left corner right there. No, I have no idea. I thought maybe that was that machine or whatever they were all attracted to at the beginning that did that. Maybe not the sectoids, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Yes. I kind of look like Vin Diesel a little bit. <laughs> oh, what? What did you What just not? happened? I don't know. Oh, you just got a... Uh, those guys just did a mind meld, right? Oh, when you get the... That oh, was psychic that. feedback. Really? Yeah, if you kill the guy that uh, did the original psychic attack, I think, that it kills the other one, or it's the other way around. Wow. I had no idea this was there. But, Thank you, Lion Sir. Yeah. You've already helped us, and you're not even in the game yet. <laughs> yet. So I'm gonna go Lion Sir. Yeah. You've already helped us, and you're not even in the game yet. <laughs> yet. So I'm gonna go with, uh... Yeah, I'll get closer. <laughs> you know the first mission we set up with those guys in it, we're just gonna get them all killed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that to happen. So what's gonna happen is, if, if that does happen, though, we're gonna start taking from, uh, you know, other people on the YouTube list, other uh, YouTube friends, and then eventually, if we run out of YouTube friends, we'll go on to, uh, like, Twitter followers and fans. We're gonna invent some. We may. We may add, like, Abraham Lincoln or something, because he's yeah. a vampire hunter. Sure, why not? I did not see this movie. I, I, I'm proud of that. I didn't either, actually. 
Ah, uh, this one, yeah, see that? He's not in cover. I mean, he took more damage as a result. That you're really good at this game. Well, I <laughs> you're am. Just shot to shit already. Hey, look at that. You're just gonna stand in front of him? 97%. I mean, that's worth you it. You miss. Bye bye. Headshots. <laughs> Why not? I would have just laughed hard. 3% miss chance, and you'd probably just be like, no, I'm gonna shoot straight up. I'm gonna hunker with this guy because let's try not to kill them. How about that? You're gonna hunker with him? Yeah, I'm gonna hunker with him. He's kinda hunky. <laughs> uh -oh. Sure, why not? Ooh, 25%. Well, I might as well. You're not gonna hit him. Oh, I did. You did? There you go. Look at that, All that's right. a lot better. Well, that's, that's much better. I'll take four instead of zero. Loading screens. So, we're gonna take our X-Men ship back to the base, which is like a hollowed out mountain that we've made. And what's awesome is there's actually some metagame as far as the base goes as well. You actually can excavate new areas for it and research new parts to it. Uh, and if I remember correctly, you can actually end up, if you fail too much stuff, you can end up getting invaded by aliens in your home base, which is pretty crazy. Yeah. Well, if you do very well, this will happen too. They just get tired of oh. It's like, oh, hey, can you stop doing that? We love aliens. I just didn't know if that was uh, part of the first game or if that's in this as well. So we're going to try not to skip too many dialogue boxes just for the sake of understanding for everyone because this, I mean, you may know what's going on, but I honestly don't know most of it. Ooh, okay. Eight days, you loser. Wow, so two of our four guys are already kind of screwed up. I thought I said Dr. Van Halen for a second. Oh, yeah, we start with a lot more stuff if you do not do the tutorial, at, at least for, for the first mission. Xenobiology, weapon fragments, alien material. I don't know what xenobiology does. All of this is uh, cryptic. No, oh. Blah, 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 research. You don't, we don't have to do this. There we go. Oh, we now need to see is... what they're talking about. Oh, no. She's just like, you can conduct research here. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's... It's an alien's worst nightmare, I've heard. That is, I believe, to... Um, uh, oh, that's the that. interrogation. Right? Or that. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, that, that's the... Interrogation room, which you do not have to research in, in the first game. That's why I, I was last here. Okay. I'm gonna go with uh, yeah, we weapon fragments. That's kind of weird that I already have a little bit of insight and have only watched like a couple hours of this. Couple hours of this only. Jeez. And I'm already giving you information. That's crazy. Okay, so that's done. Engineering. Ah, commander. Yeah, this this guy looks like a guy we can trust. Yeah, kind of looks like Joe Biden a little bit, Anything except for the hair. Up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, why don't you have helmets? Jesus, you're bad at this. <laughs> it's like the scene in Breaking Bad when Jesse uh, Pinkman uh, tells, like, you know, these lab wor workers, you don't have like, you know, st standards. This this is dirty as fuck. Clean that shit. Yeah. Amazing scene, by the way. If you never that was saw a really it, good scene. I'm just gonna slap you across the internet. Well, nobody, I mean, it's not nobody, but very few people probably watched all the way to the newer seasons. I'm gonna make one medkit. Just one. Just, you know. If we lose it, then too bad. No more medkits ever. And here, already soldiers. Uh, this is where we will say goodbye, and in the next episode, you shall see some changes. Interesting ones, I hope. Yep. We're going to set up, customize, and get everybody ready to go, and then the uh, slaughter will commence. Yeah, definitely. We're going to hope it's slaughter of aliens, though, not of us. <laughs> Do you have any Canadian guys? I... So I want to make this as realistic as possible. Not even the bastards. What the hell? Not a single one? <sighs> Alright, we'll have to Maxim settle for Dupont, Americans, I guess. Not... Uh, that's not Canadian. No, but he's a deported French. You know, okay. <laughs> went to, to hiding because of the taxes what, were hunting him. What flag is that at the top left there, that green one? I don't even know that one. I don't know. It's like mystery country. Maybe they have new countries in the future. What what year is this taking place? And it's not far away, is it? It's 2000-something. Uh, I think so. Yeah, but like 2040 or like 2400? Because that I matters. No. Oh. In, in the first game, it was, I believe, 2000. Like, straight. 20XX, leave it at that. <laughs> That's Mega Man. I know. It's not the same. 
All right, so let's sign off for now, and we'll meet you back on the next episode for some awesomeness, and I hope you join us, and I hope you en- you enjoy the series, and this should be really pretty crazy and epic. So. There's robots in this, though, so... I mean, there's I all kinds of stuff. I haven't even seen all the aliens. I think there's quite a few types. I'm excited. I say, well, yawning. I didn't mean to do that, actually. <laughs> I'm legitimately excited. Just don't mess your pants, okay? I won't. I'll try not to, anyway. Good. Because I will!